Hey guys, Dave Mosher here, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. That is the Discovery Channel's official website all about space, and this is your weekly wrap-up. Welcome to the iTunes users, maybe you're watching this on your iPod, YouTube guys and gals, welcome. Uh, you know how to get to the blog, click the more info button to the right there. If uh, you're not on uh, YouTube, you can go to blogs.discovery.com forward slash space underscore disco. I'm going to be pointing out of quite a few links during this, so uh, make sure you visit there. Let's jump right into the wrap-up. First thing I want to tell you about, and you probably know that Barack Obama was elected president, but he held a parade, and guess who was dead last in that parade, which I, doesn't think, which I don't think speaks too highly of, but it was NASA. Uh, look at this. This is their new concept for lunar rover uh, that they want to send to the moon, sort of scout around. The guys, two astronauts fit in the back of this thing. They pop off and you know you walk right toward the podium. It's kind of cool, but they were dead last in the parade. I thought that was pretty funny, and so did Irene Klotz over at Free Space. So you can check the link out below if you're on YouTube. Um, speaking of NASA, remember last week how I told you about Scott Grayson? That is this guy. He is supposed to take Michael Griffin's place at NASA as administrator, but it looks like that's not going to happen, according to Keith Cowling at NASA Watch. Uh, thanks for pointing that out, Keith. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it looks like there are some objections by some senators because every pick that NASA, uh, that excuse me, that Obama makes has to get uh, approved. So it looks like there are some objections that held that up. So we'll have to see what happens. And uh, speaking of some more spacey stuff, uh, space flight. Know who this guy is? This is billionaire Charles Simonyi, and he already went into space once aboard the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. He's going for a second time. This ticket's going to cost probably around $40 million. Um, by the way, if you know the Soyuz, you know that this is the rocket. Let's give you a little rocketry 101. This is the rocket that it launches on, and right up top is where the actual Soyuz is. So this is really huge. I don't know if you have a concept of how big that is, but let me just show you real quick. So the rocket goes off, gets into space, and then the Soyuz module pops off. This is what it looks like. Again, that's, that's right up there. So this is really big, and um, two or three people can fit into this thing. So it's pretty, pretty insane. Anyways, Charles Simonyi is going to be the last uh, private space flight on the Soyuz. The Russian uh, guy in charge of all the operations of the Soyuz says he's going to be the last one. So really wasn't uh, an explanation for why, but that's apparently the case. Uh, so that's pretty interesting, and you can check out more of that on Discovery News. Um, next thing I want to tell you about is a super huge, or super Neptune found around a, uh, um, a planetary system that's about 120 light years away from Earth. And this thing is really hot. It's more than 1,000 degrees. But it's pretty cool. They found this planet. It's about 25 times more massive than Earth. And it's called Hat P11b. So that's Hat P11b. Uh, I don't know how they name these things, but that's what they call it. That story, courtesy of space.com. And last thing I want to tell you guys about, this is the International Year of Astronomy. I talked about it in previous video casts, but this is the 400th anniversary of really when astronomy took off, thanks to Galileo. He pointed telescopes, which are sort of used as um, seafaring type things, and he pointed it up at the sky and used it to, to create the science of astronomy, essentially. So, anyway, this is really cool. I want to show you this. I don't know if you know the significance of that, but look at this, look at these dots here. Let me get that really close. And I'll, if you go look at that like that, that's actually Morse code. Somebody took 28 exposures on the same piece of film, and this is the star Sirius. And guess what that spells in Morse code? IYA 2009, which is the International Year of Astronomy 2009. I thought that was way cool, I had to show you. Anyway, that's it for your wrap up. If you want to get a, a peek at what's coming at the site, Go to the Space Disco blog. Again, that's at blogs.discovery.com forward slash space underscore disco. And thanks for joining.